What, what's a what's the set like for you? So you know, um, it, do, do you find that it differs quite a lot from when you're doing maybe like a headline gig or or, or just just kind of you supporting maybe at home or around the country or something? Um, do, does it differ? Do, do the kind of what you do like? Do you say different things and do you, what? How do you sell yourself? I guess on this tour we only do 25 minutes, <clears throat> so it's very short and sweet. Um, you kind of have to get in quick, captivate, and keep them entertained. Whereas on like a headline show, there's parts where you can sort of drift off and do your own thing for a minute. Um, but because we only have 25 minutes, we really need to get in and uh, try and win over as many people as we can. So that's the main thing. Like uh, just because we have such a short, t- well, not a, a short, short time, but because it's only 25 minutes, uh, you have to be very selective. I'm very onto the point of what you're trying to do. And obviously, you know, when we're we're not by any means at the beginning of the tour. Like, you know, it's, yeah. it's kind of coming to the end now. What have, have you kind of? What effects have you kind of seen uh, on the back of the tour? Have you seen a lot more kind of um, people messaging you, Ed Sheeran fans saying you were fantastic and they they want to know more, which is what support's about, I guess. Yeah, you know, that's it. Um, yeah, all the socials are going up and up and up. Um, I was able to put on a headline tour and the tickets are selling really well. Just capitalising on being given such a good platform. Mm. But it's all, everything's just, just going up and up and up. Mm. So as long as we can continue to go up, it's going to be a good year. Mm. And, and so how did, it, how did it all kind of come around then? All, all, all the, 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 the kind of storm that, that came with it, you know, the good. Like, don't get me wrong, like, that's not a bad thing. So, so how did it all kind of come around? Uh, with the Ed. Uh, <clears throat> I got invited to his house, there was a writing camp on, um, and I got invited and he asked me to play a song, I played a song, we started to bond as friends as well as musicians, um, and then I was doing a gig supporting Foy Vance in the Shepherd's Bush Empire in London, and Ed came to the show and after the gig just came up to me and asked if I would support him, and that was the birth, I guess, that was how it came to be. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's quite a cliche question, but it's something I'm quite interested in. How, how did music kind of come to you? Like, is it, is it always something you were always doing since quite, quite young, or what, what kind of started it? Yeah, I mean, in Ireland, music is everywhere, you know, so you're just surrounded by it, you're brought up by it. So it's just in you from a young age. Um, we, that was what we did growing up. We played sports and we played music. And there's no real secret behind it it's just living in Ireland you will get music (laughs) simple as Um, um, so what's kind of coming next then so so have you you got a lot of of plans uh, sort of releasing new stuff and uh, are you recording what was the process like in in writing stuff and and making stuff Um, so we finish on the 3rd of May I go home and do a gig in Belfast and a gig in Cork then we head off again, uh, supporting Foy Vance on the second leg of his UK tour. Then after that, I'm taking June and July to do a bit of writing. Uh, August, a couple of festivals. And then September and October, uh, headline tour. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of the plan. And then what? when do you think new stuff will be out? So you say you'll be oh, writing sorry, that? Yeah. Uh, I have a, my new single comes out on the 1st of May. Um, it's called Oh Susanna, and then yeah, we'll see. We'll see what comes next. I think maybe another single later in maybe August. Uh, but we'll put this song out and see what the reaction is, and let it go from there. But yeah, first of name, Oh Susanna. Mm-hmm. So you mentioned kind of. You know, you're kind of where, where you're from in Ireland is is there's a lot of music there, so it's kind of naturally something you were interested in so that's how you've been led to do it what is there any sort of is is that just kind of what you heard at home or is that like because Irish music was getting big what is what what is it and, and what kind of is there any sort of influences in in that that that, that do, do you kind of get what I'm saying I know it's yeah, a tricky yeah, question but um so yeah growing up we were surrounded by Irish music but we were surrounded by every music like you know the Beatles was a big one um Aerosmith Anything, everything, and anything, but Irish music certainly played a part in it. Uh, but 
it was more when I was like 16, like Snow Patrol were a really big influence to me. Um, Paul Brady was a huge influence. Um, it's just real, yeah, it, I mean, it wasn't, it was never just Irish music, but it certainly was a big factor in it. It just so happened that one of the bands I was talking about was Irish. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And if you had to cite sort of one, one musical genius, I guess it's a word that's used quite a lot, but if you had to cite one sort of musical pioneer for you, someone that's really kind of up there as, as one of the best, who would that be? Ooh. I mean, right now, there's a guy called Blake Mills. Uh, he's an American producer. He's pretty great. Uh, Floyd Vance, amazing. Paul Brady is probably one of my biggest, if not the biggest inspiration. Ed, you know, it just ranges from anything. Uh, Ed, at the minute, Ed is an absolute musical genius. <laughs> like, he can just do no wrong. Everything he does is great. Um, but then, you, like, I mean, boy, boy, Prince, people like that, we don't have anymore, but, I mean, that's genius, you know, that's different level. Stuff that we'll never see again, I think. But, uh, yeah, that's just to name a few. You can sit here all day, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's probably a couple. Of course, uh, well, thank you very much for, for chatting with us. Uh, have a lovely show tonight and the rest of the tour. Thank you.